The inquest heard how in 2010, rifleman Sachin Limbu was serving with B Company 1st Battalion Royal Gurkha Rifles as a machine gunner. He was based in Patrol Base 4 in Helmand and on the 24th of June he went out on a routine patrol to a nearby compound. Major Charles Crow, seen here on the right, described how the route had been cleared just days before because the threat from IEDs in the area was considered severe. The inquest heard how rifleman Limbu was seen kneeling to provide covering fire and protection for his colleagues while they waited for a mastiff to turn round to return to patrol base 4. He was positioned one metre away from a powder marker denoting a safe area that had been cleared for IEDs when his colleagues heard a loud explosion described as a bang and when the dust cleared they saw rifleman Limbu lying injured in a crater and his injuries were what were described as very severe. He had lost part of his left leg, his right leg, his right pelvis and had suffered severe abdominal injuries. Combat medical technician Lance Corporal Luke White described how he gave Rifleman Limbu immediate first aid before being flown to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham where he died 18 months later. Lieutenant Colonel Alistair Mountain, who treated him there, said, Sashin sustained the most significant injuries I've ever seen in my life. In a statement, Lieutenant Colonel Stephen Jeffrey said, Sashin Limbu had the worst soft tissue injuries of any soldier I've ever seen. Great stoicism contributed to his survival. And forensic pathologist Dr Nicholas Hunt said his injuries were typical of blast injuries, but what is far from typical is the fact he survived as long as he did, presumably attributable to his medical care, but also to his mental and physical stamina. In other words, I am surprised that he survived. In his summing up, Coroner Aidan Cotter said Sachin Limbu died as a result of injuries caused by the enemy while on active service in Afghanistan. But he died in hospital from infection because eventually his body simply couldn't take any more. Charlotte Cross, Forces News, Birmingham.